And time now for a look at our forecast. Meteorologist Jennifer Correa joins us now. Jennifer, how's the uh, Sunday weather looking? Hey, Ty. Well, so far it's looking nice. If you take a look outside the window or just step outside and look at the sky, it's mostly clear out there. However, it's super humid. So in that aspect, of course, it feels quite uncomfortable, especially by the middle of the day. Now we're going to start off with these sunrise photos, uh, taking a look at the photo taken by Alex Kublikis out of Lardale by the sea and notice a couple of clouds. But for the most part, these clouds that are producing showers or that were I should say earlier this morning were mainly offshore. A beautiful photo here of a bird looks like a seagull flying and just in front of a cloud there producing a little bit of some light rain. Melissa Gessner taking this at a Hollywood Beach. Thank you for your photos and now uh, let's go back to a live view out of Fort Lauderdale. Kind of skip that really fast. Beautiful sky right? A beautiful glowing sunshine. Well all that sunshine is enough to heat things up already temperatures are in the lower 80s in fact the mid 80s down in the lower keys key west you're at, sitting at 85 now here's a look at uh, the feels like forecast so of course with the sunshine that's expected and uh, the lack of rain because really we're not expecting widespread rainfall whatsoever feels like once again reaching into the triple digits in fact up to 105 degrees that's what it could feel like by midday. Now the breeze is light this morning, still out of the east. It is calm in Homestead elsewhere around 5 to 10 miles per hour. The steering flow, however, is definitely dominant on the east side. So most of the showers and thunderstorms later this afternoon are going to push their way inland. We do have a couple of showers. They're very light and small. They're making their way over north, northern Miami-Dade and even along the coast near Hallandale Beach in southern Broward. But other than that, the only other activity I see that could be an impact is for the keys that's isolated as you can see as far as this forecast model so a few showers developing offshore this uh, later on this uh, late morning and early afternoon but they actually dissipate the ones to watch are the ones over land right over the western cities you'll get a thunderstorm early this afternoon but most of the action will be over the everglades and then as we head into tonight should stay mostly dry and muggy there's actually an area of dry air that's coming our way there's a look at the moisture forecast this will be headed our way throughout the early start of this week, kind of keeping the same weather pattern that we're seeing this uh, weekend, which means uh, not too much rain out there. Of course, your typical daytime pop up thunderstorms, but for the most part, they're going to be in the inland areas. And so we're going to keep temperatures quite steamy the next couple of days. Ty.